Greg, thank you so much for coming early before your shift today. Glad to do it. Tell me your full name and where you're from. Uh, Greg Belliotti, grew up in Amherst, New York, currently live in East Amherst, New York. So you were playing in the 11 day power play last year for your first time ever. How much did you raise? Last year was 17,120. And you were the top fundraiser in 2019. I was the top fundraiser. A, a total newbie to our event total and newbie. you came out as the top fundraiser. It was it was crazy. I think a lot of people just were super supportive. Uh, my sister went through breast cancer four years ago, so I got a lot of support from family and friends uh, due to the struggles that she had to go through and a lot of people that wanted to see me come out of 20 years of hockey retirement to laugh at me <laughs> on the ice because I hadn't laced up the skates in a very long time. So what is your hockey career? Uh, never played anything organized other than some roller hockey leagues and some bar leagues at a hockey outlet in Wheatfield when I was in my younger 20s, but that was the last time I had played. So getting on the ice last year was, was scary. I was by far the worst player on our team, but uh, our captain, Bill Chef Lucas, is a longtime friend, uh, wanted to try and help his team out because we're very close and uh, was a great excuse to get back on the ice and just to meet an amazing group of guys that he put together. And what, what does the 11 day power play mean to you? It's, it just feels great to, to help make a difference in the community, to try to beat cancer. Uh, I know a lot of people that have gone to Roswell Park and they've been treated amazingly. They can't say enough good things about it. Uh, my wife used to do some volunteer work for Make-A-Wish and I went on one wish granting uh, screening with her and watch the videos that you guys have had and the impact it has on these kids and how it changes their life and uh, couldn't be couldn't be happier to be a help with with all those organizations have been great so being a part of the 11 day family i mean we're grateful that you're a part of it you Thank feel you. a part of it now i do after one year i do it seems like it's been a lot longer than a yeah. year and i've met so many amazing people you and mike guys on my team yeah, All the us. volunteers, I uh, feel like I made some lifelong friendships that uh, I wouldn't have anticipated a year ago at the same time. Tell me a little bit about KTC Brew Bus Buffalo. <laughs> uh, Bill, our captain, is played in the original 40, um, extremely passionate about the cause, and to make our team, I know I saw your interview with him the other night, is everybody knows what's expected. Everyone's expected to make the power player minimum of $1,100. This year was a little of an exception with COVID. And, but uh, I think we had all but two people make it. And, 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 and just today. Just today we passed $100,000 for this year, which so. is unbelievable i mean more than 10 percent of our full donations <laughs> in 2020 one yeah. team yeah with 24 players yeah it's... i mean that's amazing and i know you guys got so creative this year with your fundraising efforts we yeah we last year we had a beer blast that raised about fifteen thousand dollars which we were not able to do uh we did i know bill mentioned all this the other night mm -hmm. but one guy on our team did a built a computer, did a computer raffle. I did a Buffalo Bills autographed helmet raffle. Uh, a few of the other guys did some other various things. 50-50s we did. And uh, the money just kept coming and coming. And today we were at 98 something. And all of us were on a group text just watching it go up and up and up. It's like, let's get to 100,000 before we drop the ball tonight. And somehow we, we did it. It never ceases to amaze me, the group and what we can do and all the support that everyone on our team has. Like, it's just an amazing team to be a part of. So skating last year was not easy for you. No. And I know you even took up some lessons this winter. When I you did, stopped. right here. <laughs> 
So I know you're disappointed about not hitting the ice. Yeah, it kind of evens the playing field for me a little with this because <laughs> I do have experience at floor hockey, which is further back in my past. But um, we can't wait to get out there and celebrate the 100,000 yeah, I mean, and just get our group that back play, together. The yeah. same day that you play, you guys hit $100,000 I know. That was just like the opening ceremonies got to a million mm -hmm. right before we came out on Wednesday. So it's been amazing. Yeah, uh, scored a goal last year at the very end of our game. It was awesome, which you told me was the 1111th goal, and I was the worst player on our team. <laughs> it was, it was amazing. I scored. I fell down. We had two minutes left. I was exhausted, and I saw my family and friends in the crowd, and it was emotional. I, you know, both teams were cheering for me, and just. It was one of the most amazing weeks of my life last year. And this year, haven't been able to spend as much time here. I volunteered some last year. Mm -hmm. uh, stayed down at Harbor Center a couple nights to just watch some this games. This year's been and, different for sure. But uh, Our volunteer staff is quite limited this year yeah. due to the guidelines. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, we cannot wait to see your team out there tonight. I can't wait. I think I think I should let you go so you can get together with your team and get warmed yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know. No, they're still outside. Yeah, uh, they'll, they'll be coming in in a minute. And yeah, no, thank you so much for everything you and Mike, Sarah. All the broadcasts have been amazing. I've watched almost all the live streams. Uh, I took the week off, so I'll catch up after tonight. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll probably be laying with my knees in ice. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, thank you so much for letting me be a part of it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Greg. Thank you.